Hello, I'm Rebecca, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a 3D book cover. So you're going to go to pixelr.com. There are several different things you can use on Pixelr. It's a free web-based program. You can use the Express, uh, which I use a lot, uh, but today we're actually going to use the editor. So you're going to launch the web app, and at this point, you already have your template downloaded. Uh, you can find it for free on various websites. So before you get started, you're going to want that template. Uh, it sometimes takes it a few seconds to open, but uh, when you get it open, you're going to open the image, and that is when you will pull up the template. And uh, in this example, we're just making one book 3D. So there it is, and then you're going to want to open your cover, which of course means you already have it designed. So you're going to go up to Layers, and Open Image as Layer. We work with a lot of layers uh, in graphic design. Now when it first comes up, it's going to be a lot bigger than the template because I didn't resize it before I started this process so you'll see when it when it opens it's gonna take up most of that page there it is uh, and but now you're gonna go to scale it down a little bit just to make it easier to work with uh, I'm just doing this with my mouse then you're going to go up to edit and hit free distort now this is the easy part. This is where you grab a corner and you just start trying to match uh, corner to corner. Uh, the smaller that this image is, obviously, the easier it is. Right now mine's a little too big, uh, so I can't see the bottom part there. I'm going to have to move it up some. Alright, there we go. And then just keep playing with these move the corners around move it up and down as you need to it's really easy it's just tedious but that um, it's edit and then free distort after you've opened the cover as a separate layer once you get everything lined up that corner goes there and this one goes down just a little bit voila you did it okay looking good so uh, you'll go up to save it'll ask you if you want to apply your changes you say yes then you're going to want to save it under a different file name if you just save it as is it will override uh, your template you don't want that so i'm going to give this a separate file name just jekyll cover 3d that way i still have my template to use on other books and then when you hit save, it'll give you a second chance to um, to rename the file to. So if you forget to do it this once, then you'll have another chance, you know, when it opens your window back up. And save it, and you're done. So there we go. That's all you have to do. Now you can go out and make all kinds of 3D book covers. Thank you very much.